Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call to order the municipality Monroeville Planning Commission, February 21st, 2024. Could we all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Okay, please be seated. Sharon, would you do the roll call, please? Mr. Bertoni? Here. Ms. Lawrence? Here. Mr. Walker? Here. Mrs. Montgomery? Here. Mr. Massong? Here. Mrs. Lewisburg? Here. Mr. Siegelson? Mr. Weldon? Here. Okay, first order of business uh, for the evening would be the approval of minutes from the last meeting that we had on December 20th, 2023. Um, <clears throat> approved the minutes on December. I'll second. Mm -hmm. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion passed. We do have quite a few uh, applications and items from last month and the month before that that have been tabled. Move on to the new business. And Paul, I'll turn the floor over to you. Okay, before we get to that, there's something else on the agenda, the reorganization. That's going to get postponed until next month as well. Uh, we're going to wait until council makes their uh, final nominations and appointments. Uh, and as Mr. Bertoni said, uh, the one, two, three, four, five, first five items have been tabled by the applicants. So those will be carried over to next month's agenda. So uh, the first item tonight is number three under new business, 24-2 SUB Roy Musser. Applicant is requesting preliminary and final subdivision approval to subdivide tax parcel 861A119 into three lots. Lot one with an acreage of 0 0.1056, lot two with an acreage of 2.0991, parcel A with an acreage of 0 0.7925 in the S Conservancy Zoning District the property is located at 1876 Haymaker Road. Uh, variances were granted for the proposed nonconformities created by the subdivision, and the zoning hearing board uh, file number is 241A. And I believe we have the applicant here tonight. Okay. Please approach the table. How are you this evening? Good. How are you? Good. Real good. You please state your name for the record. Did you sign in also, sir? I did, yes. Uh, Pete Brothers, Steel City Survey. Okay. Whenever you're ready. As Paul said, thanks, Paul. As Paul said, we, uh, we applied for a variance for the subdivision. Um, uh, this is a two, two existing residents uh, were on this lot. Uh, the landowner is wishing to uh, sell the property, and in order to do so, we had to remove the nonconforming, which was trying to subdivide the two houses apart from each other, which is why we created lot one and lot two that are shown here on the plan. Uh, in doing so, lot one obviously had a lot of variances that need to be granted because of side setbacks and front setbacks um, and lot, uh, lot acreage. So uh, the plan is as you see it. Um, it actually is, is creating three lots, but that's only because parcel A, which is the bottom lot, is um, a separate parcel in the deed. Okay. Um, so that's where you see parcel A at, down at the bottom. Um, and then lot two is 2.09 uh, acres, and then five, six. Uh, the access is going to be um, a kind of a flag-shaped parcel that comes uh, off an existing right-of-way that then feeds into uh, a concrete driveway that feeds the house. Um, the comments from the county have been all addressed and uh, taken care of, and then the comments from both sets of comments from the municipality have also been addressed and, and taken care of. Okay. Anyone have any questions? Any questions? No. 
Okay. Uh, how about we seek a motion? For uh, public comment. Yeah. Public comment. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't <coughs> see that. Please step up to the mic, sir. Have you signed in? Yes, I did. Thank well, you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. What's your name, sir? My name is Joseph Murphy. Okay. I live at 1876 Haymaker Road. 74. I'm sorry, 1874 Haymaker Road. Okay. Uh, my wife and I are objecting to the sale of the property unless there is a separate vehicle access for the new owners. Presently, the only vehicle access is across our property, not across, through our property, approximately 180 feet. Um, we object to sell the property and automatically assume our land for access to, its, to this sold property. All right, sir. Do you you don't have it? Do you have intention on on selling the property? Is that what you're no, saying? I, I you do no, not want to sell it. No, I, I have nothing to do with the sale of the property. Okay. But what he's doing is selling the property with access through our property to his property, vehicle access. Mr. Brothers, would yep. you like to address the access <clears throat> sure. agreement? Yeah. So um, as you can see. Uh, on your plan here, uh, coming off a of Haymaker Drive, there's a okay that exists. That is a 12-foot driveway right-of-way that's granted in Mr. Musser's deed, and I believe it's also in Mr. Murphy's deed. Okay, and that is existing access to provide access back to the two houses, and it's been that way for some time. Okay, so the the purpose is to not do anything new, but just continue to use that driveway as it has granted access to Mr. Musser for his heirs and assigns uh, moving forward. So that's where the access is. Okay. But my contention is, sir, that once he sells the property to, to non-heirs, that that doesn't apply in his, from his deed anymore. Okay. Have you confirmed, sir, that the, that, that the property is, 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 uh, can only be sold? comes to selling the property, it appears that that property can be sold to anyone, not just immediate heirs. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not disputing selling the property. What I'm saying is that I don't want the new owners okay. who are not heirs to have access from the front of Haymaker Road in front of my property through my property to get to their property. I don't know who they'll be. We've had problems with renters in the past on the property, and I'm just concerned that there'll be a lot of traffic in and out um, that we have no control over. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if we can make a ruling on something like that. That sounds more like a legal matter, well, I a legal issue the that I, I, I'm recommending most likely that you would confine with an attorney to see what other options you have available at that point. But in regards to us making a decision in regards to what our responsibilities are, we would not be able to roll on that this evening. <clears throat> I see. Um, the only problem I have is that if I can't resolve this before he sells the property, okay. then I have a problem with the new owners. Uh, you, you see what I'm, what I'm saying? Uh, sir, have you, have you uh, taken the time? Have you... Uh, Retained legal counsel. I have talked to an attorney. Yes. Okay. He advised me to come here and make sure I got this on the record. Okay. And um, whatever your decision is, we'll move on from that point. Sure. Okay. And just for your peace of mind, Planning Commission is only a recommending body. Uh, it'll well, even if it's not recommended for approval, it can still go in front of council next month. Council will make the final vote. Right. So you still have uh, at least two more meetings where you'll get a chance to discuss this in a public forum. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. 
Anything else further you'd like to add, sir? No. Uh, Mr. Brothers, right? No. Anything correct. else? Okay. Nope. That's it. Okay. Again, I, I'm sorry. I will just add. It. Again, this is this is access that is existing. This is access that is in both the deeds. Sure. And so that's all we're that's all we're doing for access. So okay. Just so that's on the record. I have a question. Sure. Um, the property that's above 1880 Haymaker Road. Um, that's also owned by the Musters, correct? So there doesn't seem to be any other building on that property, right? On the uh, eight six the upper. One forty-five. This property up here. Yes. Yeah. That that correct. That's correct. That one st story frame um, is actually a, I think it's above a garage as well. That's the only house, and that house is also party to that same easement. Okay. Okay. But there seems to be nothing else on that property, and that's that's uh, correct. How many acres is that property? Um, I'm not sure. It's an adjoining acre, uh, adjoining lot. So um, I want to say it's probably two acres. Okay. It, rough guess. And I don't have that number on top of my Or it's just 12 foot property, that's 12 foot wide. It's a, a lot longer than 12 feet. Mm -hmm. It's at least 180 feet to get to his property. Yeah, that 12 foot is just a width, correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to make that clear. Sure. No, no problem. I appreciate it. Okay, any other further questions? <clears throat> Okay, sir, as uh, Mr. Weldon had explained, we are a recommending body and all that. We're going to proceed with, uh, with uh, going through with the motion and then upon approval, if that's the case, then again, um, in summary, this will be logged in as being on the record. I re my recommendation would be to continue to secure legal counsel and go from there. Okay? Okay, I'd like to seek a motion for approval, please. All in favor, say aye. No, no. no. I'll make the motion. Okay. I'll second. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. Any opposed? Okay. Motion. Thank you. Uh, next. Oh. Okay. Monroeville Dodge. Our last item, number four. 24 3 SUB, Monroeville Dodge. Applicant is requesting preliminary and final subdivision approval to subdivide 0 0.208 acres from tax parcel 542D115 and consolidate the subdivided portion to parcel 2, known as tax parcel 638N048, to create a parcel with an acreage of 8.777 acres in the C2 business zoning district. The property is located at 3633 William Penn Highway. Good evening. How are you, sir? Doing well. How are you? Good. Real well. I was needed to present this evening. <laughs> I wasn't given that information. Uh, however, what I do know here is... Excuse uh, me just for a second. Yes. Can we have your name, please? Uh, Evan, Evan Knavey with Keystone Consultants. I did not sign in. I Evan. Did you sign in, Evan? No, sir. All right. You would, you? please. Yes, ma'am. Would you would oh. sign in? Yes. Thank you. you're ready so the information I do know about the project is this large parcel they'd like this uh, 0.208 acres and this very small piece down here in the bottom left hand corner that you can see combine that all into one lot Mr. Weldon, I don't know if you know more about this than... That, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple subdivision. Right. They're just uh, connecting some adjoining property. And I believe it's because they have... Uh, there's some existing parking or I, car vehicles. For this storage. piece here, from what I understood, they had been using that in the past. Yeah. And now they're just acquiring it to put it all on one parcel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Instead I haven't three. received any correspondence or phone calls from anybody in favor or opposition. Uh, it's just, it's a, a very uh, simplistic subdivision. 
consolidation. Okay. Well, right. Any questions from the panel? Any questions? Anyone in the audience? Okay. All right. Seek a motion to approve. I will approve. A second. Oh. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? Okay. Ayes got it. Motion granted. Just so you know, this will carry over to next month at the council meeting. It's the first Tuesday, the second Tuesday. Uh, and I'll send a letter out as well. Okay. Just to let you know. And there will be a presentation again. Okay. Do your homework. <laughs> I'll be on that one. Thank you. Sure. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Okay, I believe we are in adjournment for the evening. Correct. Oh. All in favor? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Oh, please, ma'am. Step up to the mic, please. State your name. I wasn't intending to, <laughs> uh, but I am because when I came in, I'm Lois Drumheller, um, and I, uh, for the sake of the old business, item one and two, uh, was led to believe, including when I walked in here, that there, you know, there was no tabling, and I only found out after coming to tonight's meeting that there was. What was, what was that? No, you can see it says this item was tabled at the December 20th, 2023 Planning Commission, and they tabled it again, uh, wasn't it last month, in January. Uh, and here we are in February, and this does not say that it's, it's not going to take place, so can you explain why? Uh, I came all the way out here because of Old Stone Commons, and it would have been nice to have known if they were tabling again, or did they just indicate too late to you that they wanted to table again? Was that, uh, uh, that may have been last minute, wasn't it, Paul? It wasn't last minute. They sent us a letter. Uh, yeah, because you, you, you get a look at your bulletin board on on your station, which would you know would tell you the agenda. I, I do believe you have the agenda up on, on that. And the agenda here has not been corrected. So I had no idea it would have not taken place tonight. How would I have known? <laughs> well, it says it says it's tabled. No, it said it was tabled at the December 20th meeting. And it's I, been tabled since then. It's been tabled yeah. every month since. Generally, though, it says this item, four, say applicant has requested to be tabled until the March 20th meeting. That doesn't say any such thing. So it could have been clearer. And hopefully they'll be back next month. I hope so. Yeah, we, we hope so, too. We'd, yeah, because this would make how We'd many? like to get moving on that three? also. Three? Three times? Yeah. And they changed the zoning 10 years ago for that site. Okay, so this is 10 years you're waiting between coming up here, presenting you a site plan on changing the zoning in 2014. If that's not known to you, that should be a record that you could look into. But that was uh, changed to, I think, R4 from where it was. And I think it had, a, it had a strange zoning on it before that. But that's what they did 10 years ago. And then it lay dormant, nothing happened 10 years later. They should, they should have maybe made that a little more formal. Okay. Well, March and uh, hope that they will be here and ready to go. Yeah, yeah and if not, maybe right. they don't, don't, don't need it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Have a wonderful yeah. evening. Um, okay, I think we are adjourned for the evening then. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Anyone else? You need to make a motion. Okay, yes, great. Right. You want to make a motion for adjournment, please? Make a motion. Okay, all in favor? Yes. Second it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Very good. We are adjourned. Ah.